Hansel and Gretel. Press the space bar to move Hansel into the woods. Oh, well done! Press the space bar to move Gretel into the woods. Oh, well done! Press the space bar to move the woodcutter into the woods. Oh, well done! Press the space bar to move the stepmother into the woods. Hansel and Gretel lived with their father and their stepmother. Their father was a woodcutter. He was very poor and he had no food left for his family. His wife told him to take the children deep into the forest. She wanted to leave Hansel and Gretel there. Then they would have more food for themselves. Hansel and Gretel overheard what their stepmother had said. They were very sad. Don't worry, Gretel, said Hansel. I will help us. Everybody went to bed, but Hansel stayed outside. The moon shone very brightly that night. The white pebbles in front of the house glittered like silver pennies. Hansel picked up as many as he could and put them into his pockets. The next day they all went into the forest to fetch wood. Press the space bar to move the rabbit along the path and Hansel and Gretel through the woods. As they walked further and further into the forest, Hansel carefully dropped the white pebbles from his pocket. At last they reached the middle of the forest. The woodcutter made a fire to keep Hansel and Gretel warm. The children sat down to rest. The father and stepmother went to collect firewood. Hansel and Gretel waited and waited for them to return. They waited so long they fell fast asleep. When they woke up it was very, very dark. Gretel began to cry. Don't worry, said Hansel. Once the moon comes up, we will be fine. Soon the moon shone full in the sky. The pebbles Hansel had dropped shone like silver pennies. Press the space bar to move the rabbit along the path and Hansel and Gretel through the woods. Hansel and Gretel followed the shiny pebbles all the way home. Press the space When the stepmother saw Hansel and Gretel, she was not happy. She gave them both a small piece of bread. Then she told the woodcutter to take them back into the forest again. This time Hansel could not pick up any shiny pebbles. Press the space bar to move the rabbit along the path and Hansel and Gretel through the woods. Hansel and Gretel walked deeper and deeper into the trees. This time Hansel dropped little crumbs of bread all along the way. Once again they reached the middle of the forest. Press again the woodcutter made a fire to keep Hansel and Gretel warm. Then the woodcutter and his wife walked away into the forest. Hansel and Gretel fell asleep beside the fire. When they woke up to follow the path of crumbs home, they had all gone. The hungry birds of the forest had eaten them all up. Press the space bar to move the rabbit along the path and Hansel and Gretel through the woods. Hansel and Gretel tried to find their way home. They were lost, tired, and very hungry. Suddenly they saw a beautiful white dove flying above them. Hansel and Gretel followed the dove, and as if by magic they found a house. But Hansel and Gretel were so hungry they ate a little of the biscuit roof and the sugar window. No sooner had they started eating, a soft voice cried out. Nibble, nibble, nor, who's nibbling at my house? Hansel and Gretel were frightened. Suddenly, an old, wrinkled woman on crutches appeared. Hansel and Gretel were so surprised they dropped the food. Oh, you dear children, who has brought you here? she asked. Do come in and stay with me. No harm shall happen to you here. The old lady fed Hansel and Gretel. They ate milk, pancakes, sugar, apples and nuts. Now they were nice and full. But the old lady only pretended to be kind. She was really a wicked witch who liked to gobble up little children. She locked Hansel up in a cupboard. 
Then she told Gretel to fetch water and food for her brother. Now Hansel had the best food to fatten him. Gretel had nothing but crab shells. Hansel and Gretel were trapped in the witch's house. Each morning the witch asked Hansel to poke out his finger from the cupboard. She wanted to see how fat he was getting. But clever Hansel poked out a twig. The old witch couldn't see very well. She thought he wasn't getting any fatter. So one day the witch decided to eat Hansel. She needed to light the oven and asked Gretel to help her. Can you climb into the oven to see if it is hot enough? But Gretel was too clever for her. I do not know what to do. How do I get in? The witch was very angry. Silly goose, she said. I'll show you. Gretel gave her a big push and shut the door tight. Then she unlocked the pantry and set Hansel free. Hansel and Gretel were very happy to escape from the witch's house. Press the space bar to move the rabbit along the path. Once again, Hans and Gretel saw the beautiful white dove flying above them. They followed the dove all the way home. The woodcutter was overjoyed to see them. Hans and Gretel told him all about the house made of food. We will never be hungry again, they said. And the wicked stepmother was never seen again. The end.